Um, my name is Tafara and uh, I'm working with the Firefox project. So, my mother told me that I was baptized when I was uh, 40 days old and um, I thought I am a Christian but uh, finally I found out I am not. So when I realized that I'm not a Christian, you know, I've been thinking and I don't know how to ask God, you know, to, to pray to Him. And then um, I've been thinking and I said, yeah, the God that my grandpa mother is calling, if you hear me, please, I want to confirm that I'm a Christian. And then I finished my high school and I didn't have a job, I didn't have a chance to join a university. So I was here and there and I was even planning to, to join some, some groups, which are very bad ones. And then between this and I decided to go to, to, go to see um, a witchcraft. And then my sister was sick and I had to take her there. And I took her and she, she took me there and I said, yeah, it's useless to waste time. But I, sometimes I can see, you know, he was telling some secrets to people and then I said, oh yeah, I think I have to think about some spiritual stuff. I was seeing like Muslims and Orthodox nuns and priests and monks and I was confused. So finally I said, hey, if there is a God that my, pet, my grandfather mother is calling, please hear me now and take me out from this place. So finally, um, you know, when I was in the, with the witchcraft, I uh, learned how to chew uh, drug leaf chat. So I was uh, chewing the chat, the drug for uh, one year. There was one day that um, comes the time for me to break my relation with Satan or with the witchcraft thing. And then uh, I was chewing chat overnight. And I was doing some kind of job that time, you know, there was an irrigation project going on and I was a day laborer there <clears throat> and I was helping a surveyor and there, you know, just um, was helping him to, to measure distances and then I felt dizzy and I was, I was by the uh, creek edge, by the stream edge and then I fell into the, into the river. So I just become unconscious, when I was unconscious I was seeing a kind of dream kind of vision and it seems like I laid on the field was having a line and then one part is dark and one part is white and then on the uh, um, white part there were about five people they were rejoicing they were singing and there was the surveyor he was the one to pick me up and um, in my vision I saw those people were picking me up and then the same number to the dark part they were feeling very sorry, they had very worn out clothes and then just were crying and, and then I thought these people were picking me up and finally this surveyor were calling me, Tapara Tapara, what happened? And I never know whether Jesus is the Lord or something, I don't know. And then I told him Jesus is the Lord. And then um, I went to the place and I bought the Bible and I just opened my Bible just like this. I just opened it like this and I open the first chapter of the Gospel of John and I started reading and I finished the Gospel of John in one day. Boom. So then finally I decided, oh okay, I can recall somebody has given me a Bible tract and then I got that and I started reading and then at the end it guides you how to how you can confess your sin and accept the, the Lord. So I just did that and then finally I just rejoiced and I became a Christian. So that's the way how I become a Christian. I become a Christian and then um, in after three months, you know, I was, I was uh, sent to a prison because of Christ. And they put us in the, in the prison and then finally, you know, the prison has been scaring us and then they were telling us that they, they were going to kill us. That was, that was a very tough time. Um, yeah. So, I didn't have a place to stay. Yeah, I didn't have anything to eat. You know, 
Sometimes I have been spending nights in the, in the trees, which is very scary. Decided to start working in the grain mill, which is a very nasty job. It's a very hard work, but the payment is so low, very, very low. So I didn't have a, spa a place to stay. I didn't have anything to eat. So I've been starved because, um, you know, they were thinking, people don't give us jobs because we're, we're Christians. So finally I decided to work for the grain, in the grain mills, and then, um, which is owned by Christians. And I was thinking, oh yeah, to work for the Christians it might be very good because they will understand. But they never understand. You know, they were thinking that I'm just a useless person. I was thrown out. And then they were paying me like 45, 45 per a month. How much so, is that in USD? Who? I don't know. It's like two? Two dollars. Two dollars. In a month? In a month. And the time sleeping in the trees, why was that scary? Why was that dangerous? Um. The thing is, I will, I will sleep in the trees, and then up in the trees, and then I may sleep and I may fall. And there are wild animals, like hyenas. And then um, the place where I was sleeping in the trees was, you know, the tanners were doing their job. And then in the night, the hyenas will come. And then uh, sometimes I have to tie myself into the trees. Why did people hate Christians so much at the time? There is no, there is no enough reason. But the reason that that they are telling us is like they were standing against their religion, um, and they said they thought it's not godly, not satanic, and um, that was the only reason that they have been persecuting us. So, yeah, it's really tough. And I started working in the grain mill, and then, you know, the the hard is so the work is so hard. And the payment's so low, what can I do? I have been working like uh, for four years in the grain mill, and then finally I did just decided to leave. And uh, because the people who own the grain mill have been very bad to me. They are Christians, and they have been very bad to me. That time I was felt very bad, bad about them. But this time I can. I can appreciate I think they have been pushing me out of that bad place. So I just um, moved to Bahardar. Is it wrong that I believe there is God? And then I said, why, why are you leaving me to suffer like this? And then I just decided to, to, stand, to get up by like 5 in the morning, early in the morning. And I started walking around in, in, in Bahardar town and I I was seeing some people, like, um, you know, there were street children, you know, sleeping in the outside, you know, there's nothing they put on the ground, they, nothing they put on themselves. And I thought, what is this? And then I said, Holy Spirit, please teach me something in, in this. And then God said, said to me, the Holy Spirit told me that um, mine, mine is better. But, um, so I started, you know, praising him, and then um, just that morning, I got a job. Here comes the hard time that I didn't get the pay from this new work, and for 22 solid days, I have never eaten anything. And then you know, my my mouth dry, start drying up. And uh, here comes the sour inside, and it comes over here. On the 23rd day, I just found someone, and I was accompanying him to the bus station, and he gave me some money when I said goodbye. And I just run to a hotel, and I can't wait to order some kind of, you know, less spicy food. And, and I was weeping. And the owner of the hotel came, and she said, what happened? And I said, it's a long story, and she said, I'm, I'm willing to tell me. And I told her, and she said, for one month, just come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
come for free. I decided to go to school and then I was able to support that by doing some, some labor work. But after a while, the term fee has raised up and I was not able to, to pay for that. I just decided to quit and I had to withdraw from the school and I was walking back home and I just uh, saw Mark and Debbie on the road and then I saw them I saw their kids playing in the back of the car and I was working at the water pump and at the same time working for Mark and Debbie and there was one day that I was before God and I did, just said God here's myself I'm available there whenever you want to do something through my life just do it the, the decision has come by Mark and Debbie to move to Njibara and I decided to come with them and um, while I was here and I was asking the Lord and at the same time I was asking Mark and Debbie what is the purpose or the aim of SIM to be here? Is it just to produce trees? That all? So because I was wanting to stay far away from my parents but God is bringing me back close to them and I said, I think that God has a purpose for me, with my parents, with my people. So I was asking Mark and Debbie, and Mark said, Oh, God has a purpose for us to be here, and we want to shine the light. So every morning I said, God, I am here. Just use me. So I'm, I'm available. So whenever I just uh, talk to people, when I meet people, I'm just looking for a hole to get in there. So, to push it up wider. So, thanks to Jesus, and He has been offering me a way, providing me a door, open me wider. People see it very, very tiny, but for me it's big. And now, look at this. You know, my sister, my two sisters, and one of my brother, and my four nephews, and my uh, sister's daughter were Christians and this was the purpose God has brought me here and God has used the 5 project to improve my life and 5 is not for me it's not um, it's not a workplace it's just a recreational place it is school and it's like my church and I think uh, God is doing some things and many times the people Christians are coming to my house and they say they're appreciating some things. So I think uh, God is at work these days. But Jesus himself said, go. And then the church needs to go. And I, I don't see that these days in the churches. These days there's lots of chances, opportunities, ways for, for the people to hear about the gospel, like TV channels, and books and many things. People can, you know, internet, you know, they, someone can download easily, like uh, the Bible on his phone these days. But in the countryside, nothing has been done. I think we, the church needs to focus into the countries that far out of the roads, you know, from the main road. So, I think the church needs to focus on that one. And we're, we're discussing this in my church these days.